teams are excited to build, uh, you know, workflows in Dagster, and they're tired of doing it on Airflow. So stability was a very, very big pain point for us at Airflow. We've had numerous outages whereby Airflow just simply wouldn't run our jobs, would refuse to run our jobs, or sometimes uh, the Kubernetes pod operators just fail to even uh, start or just fail midway during the processes. XCOMs, you know, uh, they are a sore subject. You know, uh, you can only pass in limited amount of data between uh, tasks. It wasn't a system that people loved going to and working with. Um, there were a lot of like shim scripts to push stuff onto the remote system. There was no CI CD or testing. To even do one iteration of our, of our change, not even an end to one second time, just do one iteration of a change, it's 10 minutes. The biggest pain point with Airflow is that, you know, if you're using an executor like Kubernetes, it is very difficult to, you know, develop and test locally. We would just make a code change. We didn't really test it locally. We just figured it, we would hope that it worked. There's no version controlling for DAGs. Uh, this feature has been talked about a lot. Uh, uh, so for instance, if you delete a task from your DAG, all the metadata that's related is lost, you know, which is a big pain point. It was not clear where the data was going, what it was pulling from and, and how those things were happening. You know, locally you're developing on different versions of Python modules, whereas in production, you might not have the latest versions of those modules. So can lead to dependency conflicts. A lot of times our instances would just completely be unresponsive, uh, which forces us to go in and restart all of the, uh, the Kubernetes clusters as well as the entire Airflow Composer cluster. So before using Dexter, we were um, running all of our pipelines on Airflow, which worked fine, but had a few really annoying limitations, uh, especially regarding testing, um, observability of our code, and development times, also workload times. Um, considering the infrastructure that we had running, um, that those were just growing pains. And after a while, it just became too much uh, where we decided to bite the bullet and, and finally migrate. I think what stands out for Dagster is its focus on engineers and in particular engineers who are managing data assets. When the teams are using uh, Dagster against Airflow, like we see a, a far higher rate of development. You know, they're, they're, they're able to close the loop far quicker. When you are doing integration end-to-end uh, -end testing for your data pipelines, you know, it, it automatically creates that, uh, you know, uh, replicates the production environment without uh, having to, uh, without having the data engineers, uh, you know, to do anything or set up uh, the infrastructure. Availability of a platform like Baxter uh, Cloud Serverless uh, really means that teams can consider using it far earlier uh, than Airflow in our experience. Uh, create branch deployments and see changes live um, was just a huge shift in the experience compared to Airflow. We're able to execute that Kubernetes pod operator locally in under four, after four hours of just testing it out. That was phenomenal. We've never seen a, a true local airflow execution of that before. But in a few, but with Dagster, using the actual Dagster airflow migration, we're able to get that up and running. This collaborative effort into uh, you know into developing data products is something that Dagster you know outshines Airflow any day. So as far as things that stick out about Dagster to me compared to other orchestration frameworks, um, the big one for me right off the bat, at least when I learned about Dagster initially, is sort of the dedication to um, uh, uh, developer ergonomics and testability. And generally, I think the choice was quite easy to go with Dagster just because all of the abstractions and the whole approach of um, basing everything on first principles really appealed to us as a team. Again, Dagster has always had deployment in mind from day one. It's, it's built in a way that is immediately obvious how it scales. Mm -hmm.